the ability for the leader to own that what they want to be represented as the expression, because I do believe an organization is expression of the leader, is that expression of their leadership style in the marketplace, then they need to show up like they've never shown up before. And they need to align a team around them that are of like minds. And they require to then have that be not a trickle down, but an infusion of education Mm -hmm. in the ranks and files of their organization. Because a profit center of an organization is literally the relationship and the communication and the transference of the values emotionally between the customer and the team member. That's the profit center. If they can't have that trickle down or wash down and infuse itself in that team member, the team member will never be able to transfer the values, the mission, the vision of the organizational brand to the customer. And that's the only place it matters. So for the for our our tangible, actionable aspect to this, how when, when that leader has gotten things right and they've developed this vision, how do they put that in something that's not just this meaningly meaningless mission statement on the wall? How do they put this into action so that that person, all you know, every person throughout the organization knows what that alignment even is that they should be embodying? There's a whole series of trainings and educational curriculum on how to do that. That's why our book got published because they were like, we want to write a process of how to install Mm. these kind of principles into an organization. But just really, really briefly, um, when I go in and work with a company and I don't, I'm very selective who I work with because I, I, I need them to be awake. You know, I don't want to go in there and pull a camel through the eye of the needle. I'm not interested. <laughs> I'm just not interested. I am willing to go in and work with people who are willing to transform themselves and transform their organization and enhance the culture. I don't go in there and I don't tell them about their business strategy. I go and talk to them about their people strategy, which is where everything, where the strategy, business strategy, actually gets fueled and is executed by their people. They can invest all they want in the business strategy, but if they don't invest in the people strategy, they have a really poor delivery system then. And all the business strategy goes, goes to naught. So the bottom line is those two, those two need to work together. So I go in and work with the business strategy. I make sure that the executive team is aligned, vision, mission, and values. I make sure that they understand each other through a variety of different assessments that I do and a variety of different trainings I do on self-leadership, mitigating unconscious bias, communication skills, influencing strategies, and people intelligence trainings. So that's at the very top. Managerial level, pretty much a very similar training sequence, but I also throw in being a manager's coach. So I train the managers how to coach. I give the managers and HR a very specific process of being able to utilize psychometric assessments to make sure that they have a personal development strategy for every employee underneath each managerial's role in every department. So we do an assessment. We we are able to actually analyze the highest performing four individuals in that job role. We condense their personality qualities into a psychometric algorithm. We measure every employee to that algorithm, shows where they're outside of it, where they're inside of it, and the areas of seven different dimensions of personality that they're outside the manager is trained on how to personally coach that individual on those particular aspects where they're outside that success pattern. The objective is to be able to help each employee to build their performance up by doing very specific behavioral and attitudinal adjustments so that they come more into that algorithm of high performance for that job role. It also helps with selection 
new candidates coming in, you're able to get a complete percentage of what candidate is going to be the highest percentage for that job role. That doesn't necessarily mean that you negate your your subjective interviews or your background checks or all that. It all works together, but you need a data-based series of, of indicators of how that person's going to perform. And then that helps with promotions, with, uh, with succession planning, and with development. So oh, yeah. we, created, we can create a complete strategy for the entire organization on helping each person evolve themselves. And that is one of the primary cultural requirements of high-performing teams. That, first of all, they have a voice. Second of all, there's a personal development program in place. And second of all, they are seen, they are heard, and they can connect with their managers in a one-on-one basis. And I love that because it's quantifiable, right? It's taking all oh, yeah. of this that, that that we talk about on this show constantly, uh, this humanness, this stuff that's a little intangible, and it makes it very tangible. And it makes those organizations be able to point to something say, here's what we're working towards. 